This story comes from Massachusetts, and it comes from the Boston Herald. Massachusetts State Police Trooper fired, charged with drunken driving and fatal Boston crash. Business as usual. Take his ass to jail. And this man consumed six to seven drinks before driving his SUV down the highway. Very smart. Very smart. A trooper who just graduated from the academy has pleaded not guilty to a charge of motor vehicle homicide while driving drunk after a crash that killed a motorist in Dorchester. Then that's very illegal. 25 year old Christopher Carr went to three different establishments in the city while he was out driving with his fiance. How do you do that? It's in their nature, they can't help it. And the crash occurred after he leaned in to kiss his fiance. He was dead drunk. <laughs> You are a problematic drinker. This man just graduated the academy. To put it mildly, problematic. And the department has just announced that he was immediately terminated. You're fired. Also jail. The person that this officer killed was 51-year-old Christopher Zyke, who suffered fatal injuries after being thrown from his bike. And despite Zyke struggling, he was rushed to the Boston Medical Center where he was pronounced dead. It wasn't just the smell of alcohol that let law enforcement know that Carr was intoxicated because according to the Suffolk District Attorney Rachel Wallens, after the crash, quote, detectives interacting with him noted he had glassy eyes and spoke with a thick tongue in quote of course he did that's suspicious yeah that's because he's guilty and mind you this man's bail was set at only five thousand dollars what in tarnation this is a big joke right business as usual which means that someone's loved one is dead right in time for the thanksgiving holiday and this man is back out on the streets because he could afford five thousand dollars in boston even on probationary pay yeah! And it shows you there's one standard for cops and a different standard for citizens. Because had it been you who did this, your bail would have been set so high that you would have never even thought of getting out. And you would probably spend the rest of your life behind bars. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you would like more deep dive content, please go subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you want more shorter content, you can check out my TikTok. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and follow. But most importantly, make sure you share the content with everyone that you know so that we can hold cops accountable. Until next time, horns up, peace out, good night, and good luck.